I didn't play Doom, but I had a secondary team with Trish, so I learned the Trish Infinite, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's so fancy!" I'm like, "It's it's the all it's the I'm doing the easy one. It's Whoa. just something you haven't seen." <laughs> Fair point. Game one onto PS2. Fan for the four seed seeded very highly today. High expectations for yep. him certainly. He's going to be facing Wombo's Me Sword Fighter. Gotcha. I we saw him in Cruise. He is he is a terror. He is. He was putting in quite a lot of work in his crew. And uh, as you'll see, Chakram is insane. What me Sword Fighter lacks in movement and just, you know, base stats, he makes up for in projectiles that are obnoxious and cover a bunch of different spaces. I think Fanfu has to be familiar with a matchup at least at this point. I know he's played with Moniker quite a few times, but... Uh, that being said, Wombo's Moniker plays doesn't out show up to stuff. I don't know about that. A while ago, but... That being said, playstyle, especially from me to me, can vary among sword fighters. Uh, they'll definitely use a lot of the tornado. Uh, I believe Chakram is a must because that move is incredible, mm -hmm. as you can see. It's just a way to rack up damage, and yep, That's what the back air looks so. for an, looks for an air dodge and gets it. Uh, he gets more confirms the further away tornado hits, but like a close tornado is more of a mix up, and he's got good throws. Up there, though, but gets the berry and not able to mash out of that in time. That's going to be an F smash. Yeah, Fanfu's got good roller usage. Not doesn't cheese for it too hard, but when he gets it, he gets it. And it just being an inkling who's pretty good at uh oh hello goes for the uh rar nair bear. Ooh, and wow, catches him at the ledge with a down smash too. So that third that third up B is really unsafe on shield, but it's got a really good hitbox. Apparently, down smash just. That ink disjoint. Let's go. I can't deal with it. I gotta shield it. I mean, I just approach it from below and get two frames anyway. So, well, they'll either go from the si they'll either go from the side or go to ledge. Like going from the side is just to make you respect it, and then they go to ledge. One of the two, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> is that really the noise he makes? <laughs> Unfort. Well, I know you can pick from certain voices, but. And yeah, you can do a bunch of different angles of that to, uh, to ledge. It's around the down smash, oh. though, and that's gonna be an inked up rapid jab. It looked like Wombo was trying to confirm the falling fair into the smash. It seems... It seems like that should be a thing. It just didn't happen there. Who? Yep. Uh, retreating side B, he might have been able to get something that killed, but go in the lowest risk possible, which... I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. You will need to take the stock at some point, though. There we go. Air dodges out of that one, although he is going to be able to make it back with Inkling's yeah. superior recovery. That's what I was saying. Close Tornado is a lot harder to get true confirms off of, but you still get pretty nice 50-50s. <gasps> gets another berry, and he's not going to mash out of that one. And he gets a little bit of a charge, which was enough to do it with the Rage to take the first game. Interesting. Sub 100%. You don't see Inkling killing that much with an up smash, but... In that particular scenario, he had him buried, had a bit of a time to go with the charge, recognized that Wombo wasn't as much of a skilled masher from the earlier berries. Yeah, charge and rage. There you go. That's how you do. And also, like, you'll see some Inklings have a few more frames to do that, because sometimes it's better to jump air dodge, sometimes it's better to stop on the ground. Yes. I think it depends on the distance you've started at. I don't know that for sure. Uh, well... We can get some fact checkers. I mean, that that is a factor you hey. have to take into yeah, I bet I bet the whole inkling discord's in the chat. Let's go. Give us the deets. There you go. And we're moving on. Town and city for game two. I know this is a stage that often gets counterpicked to against inkling players, just it, because of its you know it it's not the obvious battlefield or whatever that inkling players would just dream of going to. But it's got a high. T I I pick battlefield against inkling. Uh, it's got a high top blast zone, it's FD for enough of the time, and they've got a lot... Inkling has a lot of space to move, and it's FD enough of the time, but also... Booyah is so much less of a threat, because these high blast zones. All important considerations, doesn't get the second hit of the up smash, although once again into the second berry, the F smash will take him off. See, a big part of the Inkling meta is if, uh... If they have good Booyahs, you have to be scared to grab, which means you won't shield as much. And if you don't shield as much, that's when rollers actually hit. And that's kind of the 50-50 that makes Inkling do early kills. Right. 
Also worth considering that the ceiling is a bit different on this stage than a few others, so... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ceiling will be very narrow. The ceiling making Booyah worse means that they can shield more and fear roller less. Except Wombo got hit by a whole bunch of rollers, so like... Counterpick not coming in clutch yet. Yeah, almost just a case of pick your poison there. Fanfu is such an expert at capitalizing onto some of these options. This time the roller not going to connect and gets caught in the tornado just out of the range of the up air. Something I've seen Fanfu is very good at is the roller tech chase, and that's what he was trying to go for there. Wombo just got out. Sometimes it happens. Had enough invincibility to get around that tornado. Ooh. And catches him as he tries to go. Oh, that, had to be that didn't save him. Well, I was going to say, had to be very careful about not getting him with the initial hitbox, but wasn't going to make it back anyway. Wombo is down to his final saw. You saw him delay it a little bit so that when he hit Wombo, if he hit Wombo, he would go lower. I don't know if that was intentional or just him setting up his angle, but it totally worked out. Well, I don't know if he was Ow. just too low as far as he was just under the stage, but that being said, that's going to be the first dock after oh, that he can, reflex. He can angle it any diagonal. As long as, he's, as long as he's got the distance, he can do it. Back air into the rapid jab, too. He takes extra damage, and uh, gotta watch out for Roller here. He's not nearly at Booyah percent, so he can play kind of shield he heavy. Affairs, and these Mistechs are just a killer. If he teched, he would have gotten buried oh, by well, the Roller. That... Mistech actually saved his life. I think if he tech rolled in, it might have been safe. But Yeah, uh, tech roll in is... Everything is better than neutral tech against Inkling. Yes. But yeah, uh, Fanfu is very... He's known for uh, tech chases. And if you neutral tech that tech chase, you will get buried. You're absolutely right. If you don't, right. you'll get hit, which is, I mean, better. Yeah, without a direction, that would have been the end of the game. But that being said, Wombo is still alive here. His game is still on life support a little bit, having been down a stock for much of this game, too. But that being said... Oh, that fair was too close. There you go. Up smash out of shield. Wombo, a valiant effort, but unable to take down Fanfu. He's going to be moving on. The four seed advances one step closer to that.